What's up to all my lights out there? It's Suave, and today we are going to do a little adventure, go out a little bit, do some passion work, all of that good stuff. And we're going to talk about open mindedness versus closed minded. So let's get into that. <laughs> guys i'm heading out i am about to go i stepped on something i don't know what that was i'm about to go pick up some of my friends and we are headed to the mountains exciting okay so i was on my way i basically got in front of my friend's house and I was like, good, I did not forget anything this time. Cause I thought I didn't forget anything. And I pull up and I realize that I forgot my phone. <laughs> so I can't get in the gate and call them without my phone. It's great. <laughs> in business you guys ever remember sitting on these as a kid it's not as fun as it used to be out here maybe it's because there's no people but I'm waiting on my friends to come out so we can start this adventure that we're supposed to go on. So hopefully they come soon because I'm bored. Look at them. There they go. Yay. My friends are here. Yay. Sorry. What's up? What's up? I looked <laughs> and I didn't have my phone. Wow. Oh <laughs> I had to gosh. drive all the way back to get my phone. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. Having an open mind versus having a closed mind is basically being able to see things as they are and be open to different perspectives. It's having an open mind and closed minded is not being able to look at things from a perspective, looking at it only from your standard. And when you look at things from only your standard, you begin to force your standard onto others. There's also something I like to call forced closed-mindedness, which would be when you force yourself to be closed-minded about an issue that you normally be open-minded about just because you don't want to be judged by a mass majority or you don't want to look bad. For example, if you liked a pair of shoes and you're like, oh, these are nice shoes, I should try this, you know, it's different. And you like it, it's a unique quality that's something that you're interested in and you don't get it because you think that people would think it's ugly or people have said it was ugly things like that that's forced closed-mindedness i almost fell that's forced closed-mindedness so you really want to be open-minded in things because open-mindedness allows one acceptance for all things and all people because people have their own unique identity people identify with different things so being open to different identifications help you to accept people for, for who they are. <laughs> I might fall. See, I almost did that. 
I might fall on this trail. <laughs> it's slippery right here. <laughs> Look at this view, guys. Being closed-minded forces you to, forces other people, or tries to force, other people to live in regarding in regards to your standard so your way of thinking is the only way that people should live and things should be which is not good because you're limiting other people and you're pushing away people there's the difference between being open-minded and not agreeing with something and being closed-minded and shutting things down. You can't wear that. You can't act like this. Things like that. That's forcing people to live in regards to your standard and that's not, that's not okay. That's treating people like your way is the way and that's not necessarily the correct way to do it. cold out here, I'm freezing, we took pictures and now we're walking back, but uh, yeah. Alright, let's ask their opinion and see what they think. I think being closed minded is being boring and you're only living a fraction of your life right now with the mindset that you have right now and it can always be expanded and you could take yourself to new places new endeavors whether that be mentally or tangibly outside so i think being open-minded is very healthy especially when it comes to getting perspective on different things i think being closed-minded leads to a lot of negativity and hate because you don't want to see other possibilities, so you rather hate on it instead. It's kind of ignorant. So, I feel like you open up a lot more options and doors when you're open-minded. So, somebody can be afraid of flying, and then once they open their mind to catching a flight, they've been seeing parts of the world they've never seen before that you can't just drive to or shit like that. Ooh, you can be more understanding, I feel like if you allow yourself to understand people, more people will understand you. It'll kind of be like that type of exchange of energy. And with knowing people more, you're not as shut off or alone as you may feel because you feel nobody understands you. But if you open the possibilities to being more social and connecting and networking with more people, and even not even just networking like in a business aspect, but just getting to know people with your same interests and talents that stuff can go far and you end up finding some like really good friends and family in the long run so i feel like pros and cons to both i like having conversations with open-minded people because for the simple fact that i feel like it's always going towards like expanding something whether it be expanding our travel list or just expanding your mind, expanding your growth, expanding how you interpret your feelings. Because some people can only tell like when they're feeling three feelings and don't <laughs> even realize how many feelings there are in the world. Yeah. And it's like, I think it just leads to a lot of great, um, a lot of great realizations for yourself a lot of great just learning new knowledge because of course since you're open-minded you probably have a lot of knowledge that other people might not have i like what you said about uh having a conversation uh like talking to a closed-minded person because i feel like you can learn a lot from a closed-minded person because they're so strict in their ways usually they know their ways to a t because they're so strict in their ways right so it's like they're like, I know why I don't like this. Some people don't though. Some close-minded people just don't even know why they don't like something. It's just like, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. But um, some people actually have like a specific reason on why they don't like something and they explain that. And it kind of opens your mind. An open-minded person could be like, oh, I got a better understanding of you and why you don't like it. They don't have to agree with it. 
but yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas having a conversation with an open-minded person, I feel like it's really expansive because rather than learning one thing, you kind of bounce off of a whole bunch of things. For me being a people person, like talking to people in general is fairly easy, whether it's being a open-minded person. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it all just depends on how you like steer the conversation. I'm a very argumentative person, so I'll argue just for the sake of arguing, even if I know I'm wrong. So if it is a conversation like that, like I don't understand like the reasoning why, because I like understanding like how people's mind works. Yeah. So like I'll understand why that, but then I'll hit them with my rebuttal on why I think it's you know at least good in my perspective, so that at least I know that my point is heard. Yeah. And then depending on how they react after that, then we can either continue to talk about something different or we can just continue having an argument to which I'm going to enjoy regardless because it's just how I am. Yeah. See, I, I get, when I get in conversations with people, I, I'm a question person. When somebody's like, oh yeah, that's nasty, I'll be like, why? So I'm trying to get really everything do. out. So then I try to like <laughs> bring it all out. Like bring it all to the table. Let's see what it is. You know, like let's explore this. Bobby says why to the weirdest statement. Like, like, you're like I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> Bye. See you huh? later. See you, sister. He's out, eyes. All right, guys. Back to the house. So as you can see, closed-minded thinkers versus open-minded thinkers. They both have pros. And I guess they both have cons. Sometimes being open-minded can put you into scenarios where you'll be open to it, but it really doesn't fit with who you are. You're just open to the idea. Of just because you're open-minded doesn't mean it, it relates to you. Every idea relates to you. But also being open-minded allows you to be flexible, learn new things about yourself, discover a lot about yourself, and be more adventurous, be more spontaneous, be more out there, try new things. It gets you to be really experimental in your life process. So that's what being open-minded helps you with. Now on the other hand, closed-minded people, you kind of get the effects of, of having a firm and strict understanding. It helps you to be a lot more disciplined and a lot more straightforward with what you want. You know a lot more, you're a lot more direct and you know what you don't agree with you. You know a lot more of your values a lot of times when you're closed-minded, but on the other hand, being closed-minded can shut you off from a lot of things like learning new things about yourself or discovering new things or being open to things. Being closed off from that helps you not to discover more that you probably wouldn't know about yourself. There's probably things that you may like or you may find interesting that you're closed off to because you have that closed-minded mindset. Open-minded people can be a lot more flexible, you know, and there's open-minded people who actually understand and know themselves because they have went through that experimental process. So they learn a lot more about themselves from trying a lot of these different things. And I think that's where the benefit of being open-minded comes from is you really do get a straightforward and kind of a deep-rooted understanding in who you are because you tried so many things or you you were open to having conversations and not really closed off to stuff you really kind of got an understanding of people a lot more so i feel like that's a really good benefit for being open-minded but at the same time it can be risky trying all these new things and putting yourself in dangerous situations sometimes when you're being open-minded but i mean what's life without a little danger at the same time so being open-minded being closed-minded whatever you guys are be who you feel is right for you and that's the important takeaway of this whole conversation know and understand who you are so let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys you know are an open-minded thinker or a closed-minded thinker what you think of them what you think of an open-minded thinker what you think of a closed-minded thinker and any of that good stuff down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a coin flip. Hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you guys can stay connected with me and follow me along on this journey. And as always, keep growing, keep loving, keep connecting, and keep spreading light. Bye, guys.